Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello everyone and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. I am just wetting my paper and I'm just leaving a thin film of water on the paper. This is a Chinese junk and I'm just going to just brush in some cobalt blue into the sky. I'm using a dagger brush but use any brush you feel comfortable with. I'll give you a quick run round of the colours while we're here that I'll be using which is yellow ochre, transparent red oxide, Mars violet, cobalt blue, French ultramarine and burnt umber and with that we'll carry on. into the sea as well I'm going to make it stronger down here as water has depth I mean, one of them little funny islands that you can get in the South China Seas a bit stronger up here maybe and I want to take some of the cobalt blue and I'm just going to add a little bit of burnt umber to that just to grey it Bring a few streaks of this in. Say so these are only suggested colours, you can use any colour you have on your palette. If you want to do them in totally different colours that's perfectly fine and that really is up to you how you want to do that. Bring a little bit into the sea and I'm just going to take any wet tissue or a damp tissue and I'm just going to take out some clouds just make some interesting and I'm just rolling the raggedy edges round through this and you see what that gives you and that's all I'm going to do with the sky now I'm going to let this dry now the sky is dry and the sea is dry the first washes I'm just re-wetting the sails I'm just using, I just use the water as a vehicle to move the paint round, that's all. It just helps to give it a softer blend. For anybody watching, you are welcome to leave a comment if you like these videos. It is nice to hear from viewers. I'm dropping this in in different strengths. I'm leaving light and dark patches within that, taking some paint out with a damp brush. I'm going to take some of the transparent red oxide, I'm going to drop this in. Just start to bring some of the, the shading out in the sails. dropping it in and just manoeuvring it slightly to where I think it's needed it all adds movement and interest making parts of it darker remember if you use transparent oxide you could use light red it doesn't matter if you don't have transparent oxide There's a little bit of grey in this, I think. Some cobalt blue, we might need some more of that. This is very, very wet, so it will run and mingle. I'm just putting this in with a very fine rigger brush if you're comfortable using it, another detail brush please feel free to use it and I want to take some of the transparent red oxide and just 
give a wash to the malt. Down to the sea line. Then I'll take some of the Mars Violet. Start shading in one or two areas. If you don't have Mars Violet, you could use light red and French Ultramarine mixed. Do you want some of this transparent red oxide to show through? And of course, we have very nearly missed out a little sail at the back. We almost missed that. Take some Mars Violet, move it into there, drop some French Ultramarine in to darken it, add some burnt umber, make a nice dark colour. We can start to put some details in, let's put the boom. And with the sails, I'm just using a broken line. Usually works better than a, a solid line to define the sail edge where the stitching is. Touch. And with the shape of the sail, you can add some extra shading in. Just taking some water, just softening one or two edges. Just putting the side of the brush on and dragging it. Do 
once again with some more French Ultramarine. See, so we strengthen this up a little bit. I want to touch it onto the bolt to keep that wet a little bit, taking some of the cobalt blue once again, running this in. Slowly taking it up. I don't want a full reflection in the water, but I do want the sea to be a little bit deeper. A little bit of the colour from the centre. until the shine goes off the paper and then we can put some soft waves in. Now that's dried off a fair amount, it's still damp this sea, but we're going to mix up some cobalt blue, some burnt umber, and touch your French ultramarine, just darken it slightly, touch more. Take a flat brush and we're just going to drop in one or two little ripples. Just let the brush dance on this. I don't want to put them everywhere, just enough to break the sea surface up so it's not one flat wash. Very simply done. And then we're going to allow that to completely dry. Now that's completely dry, I'm just going to put some white paint just on the tops of some of these, just to help bring your eye into the picture. This is Magellan Mission Gold Titanium White. It has excellent covering power for a watercolour. You can scratch the top of these waves out. I mean, I do do that every now and again. I like to use this, just add a little bit of movement on the back. If you want to keep your watercolour as a pure watercolour, without using white gouache, this is very handy. Try not to go overboard with it, that's a bit of a pun considering you're painting a boat, going overboard. I think that will do it, but I will leave this entirely up to you. Maybe a couple of seagulls in here. This is where you get around to shine it, putting a mount around it and frame it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All subscribers are welcome. And don't forget, leave a comment and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.